Hello, Pauline, and hello to everybody else. Welcome back to Mr. Jacob's Gym Class. Well, can you believe it? This is our last class of the 2019-2020 school year. What a crazy year it's been, but I've been so happy to be with you working out in your living room, in your backyard, wherever you're watching these videos. Fantastic. Well, today, one of my favorite workouts, it's the mashup. We have To The Max, the triathlon, and Bob Hayes Special, the Core 100, all mashed up into one super sonic workout. Let's go check it out. All right, so like I said before, we have our three workouts today. We have To The Max, done by my son, Max Jacob. Thank you so much. 10 exercises, all done 45 seconds on, 15 second break, and then we keep going, keep going. Then the triathlon. Remember, the triathlon is three awesome events. It's the swim, the bike, and the run. And each of those events has three different exercises. And same as the, to the max, we're gonna go 45 seconds on and then 15 seconds break. And then we're gonna move right into the core 100, the Bob Hayes Special, where we have 10 exercises that work on our core. We'll be doing 10 reps in each one. Now, before we start, just so you can see right here, to the max, we have our 10 exercises. And again, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds break. Right away, right after, we're gonna move into our triathlon, which is also right here, we have the swim, the bike, and the run. And right after that, we're gonna move into our core 100, which is our 10 exercises done 10 times, which equals 100 reps of our core. If we do the whole mashup, that's a super level. Two times gets you the sonic level. Three times as always, the supersonic level. All right, so without further ado, let's get it on. We start off with squats. Here we go, 45 seconds of squats. Now again, you could do it without any weights at all, just your body weight, which is pretty awesome. Or you can use weights. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do about half with weights and half without. So this is to the max, one of my favorite exercises, one of my favorite workouts. Here we go. Okay, 20 seconds left. Let me grab weights for the last, my last little bit here. What I think I may do is actually the rest of my two the max workout here with my weights. Alright, five more seconds. We're gonna go right into our lunges. And stop. So we're 15 seconds. I need to do my lunges. I need to do step forward. You can also do lunges. We can do with Step back lunges if you'd like as well. So I'm gonna find my space five more seconds. Break. Here we go. I'm gonna put my weights here while I do my lunges. 45 seconds. When you do your lunges, make sure that your front knee doesn't pass your toes. Just wanna make a particular shape of the floor.
time, you know what I mean? A little mistake, it's actually not 10 exercises, it's going to be 9. Shoulder taps back on the ground. This is really working the core. I love it. Here we go. We do have our 50 second break. It feels good. like it's getting shorter, shorter. Three, two, one. Shoulder taps. Here we go. Okay, so next one is going to be our deadlifts. So I am going to use this one with weights, you can do it without. And what are you going to do? I'm going to go from the side. You're going to bend your legs a little bit. You're going to reach down. Here we go. 45 seconds. And let's pick it up and bend. Now, instead of arching your back and looking down, you're always going to try to keep looking. Let's just straight in front of you. And a little bit up. Because you know the only way is up. Face it this time. There we go. There we go. 50 more seconds. And if you're doing it with any kind of any kind of weight, whether it's water bottles or dumbbells like I have here, make sure you keep things in front of you. Always looking up. There we go. It feels like a squat. No. I went over. I was loving it too much. All right. And then, oh, I need the weight for this one. It is a bicep curls. Bicep curls. Here we go. And 45 seconds. There we go. Not so full like I've seen. I feel like this is super fast, but I have to tell you, actually, the slower, the better. Off a little bit, okay. 15 more seconds. I'm gonna come right back to it. Five more seconds. We're gonna move on to our tippy toes and stop. I went over again, man. I think I'm loving this too much. I'm forgetting about the time. It's all good time. Okay, so not tippy toes. I'm gonna keep my weight. Try to find something nice and I'm going to go on my side here so you can see a little bit. And then take a picture of the 45 seconds. Now I know for this one, this is one of Max's favorite ones to do. He loves basketball and he loves jumping, so it's really important to have some, some really strong calves. He also knows that these are painful for me. So I have to do them. Make sure that my, that my legs stay nice and strong for the running that I like to do. And, Soccer, and, uh, basketball, and baseball, the different sports that I love to play. 15 more seconds. And it's a little movement, it's a little muscle. But man, is it bright. Five more seconds. And stop. Okay, I, I didn't, didn't mess up the clock. Alright, the last one to the max is the dip. So, got yeah, my chair a little, a little bit closer here. Make sure it's nice and solid. You're gonna kind of sit. You're gonna have your hands off to the side. You're gonna have your bum off and you're gonna dip down, up and down. Here. I have to tell you, 
you want to modify hard, have your legs straight in. You can even have one leg stand on top of the other. If you want to modify it a little bit easier, bring your, bring your feet a little bit closer to you. That makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go, go out here. I'm going to be pretty strong today. There we go. The last one. Then we're going to move right into our triathlon. 15 more seconds. So during my break, I know I'm going to i my chair out of the way because I'm in front of chair. Oh, it was burning. I should take a break halfway, but you know what? I'm too close to the end now. Three, two, one, and stop. Awesome. So right into a triathlon. So I changed what's up there into a triathlon. So we're going to start with our swim. So it's going to be back show kick, then push-ups, and then bird dog. Remember, that was a funny name, bird dog, but you can check it out while I do it. Okay, so let me get into my, my back show kick. So right down. We're 45 seconds on, starting a little bit late, just getting myself ready. And there we go. Try to point your toes. I know when you're on your back, doing your back stroke kick, because Bob Hayes can tell me he's a superstar swimmer. Um, let's get to keep this nice and long. There we go. So we're going to turn right around and get into our push ups. 45 second push up. So remember, you can always take a break. That's what I love with these 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. There we go. All right. Five more seconds. And stop. Okay, get yourself ready for a push up. I'm going to get on my mat soon. I'm going to find it. And I know for this one, I think my mind number is going to be five in my head. I'm going to do five and take a break. Five again. But choose that number and try to achieve that number. Here we go, push ups. Okay, and I'm going to take a little break here. Maybe, oh, break in the plank. Just, this is what we call an active recovery. So you're still working something while you're taking a break. Awesome, okay. Here we go. I'm going to take a little break here. Again, my magic number is five. You can choose your own magic number. Okay, oh man, we're almost done here. Our 45 seconds of push ups. Here we go. And stop. Okay, wow, that was a tough one. Okay, now we're going to move into that. So you can see right up there the bird dog. So we're going to go right into our bird dog. And I'll, I'll get it all set up while we're taking a break. Your arms are straight under your shoulders and your, your knees are straight under your hip. And opposite arm, opposite legs. Here we go. Go forward, come back. Over, remember, it's opposite. So I'm going right arm, left leg, come back. Left arm, right leg, come back. And if you're able to do this, some people think like, ah, oh, this is so easy, Mr. J. Well, I want you to just really concentrate which muscles are being used to do this. And try to reach your forward nice and long. Nice and long. All right, five more seconds. And stop, okay, we finished our swim. We finished our swim. Okay, now we're going to our bike. So I'm gonna be biking on my back. And then I'm gonna to go to squats and then dead bug. Another funny name. Very it's like the opposite of the bird dog. Alright, so bike on back. Here we go. And actually I have to tell you, Pauliners, I've seen some of you biking out on the playground, which has been fantastic. So a lot of the little the, the little ones at Pauline biking around, which is awesome. Definitely great that the weather's getting so nice. Spend so much time outside. 15 more seconds. Remember, you can always take a break and then move right back into squat. Here we go. Five more seconds. And stop. Oh, that was good. All right. Here we go. So, this one I am going to use my weights for my squat. To my side. I might, I might even do squat presses. Here we go. And there we go. Push forward. Awesome. We're going to 
move right into our dead bug after 45 seconds here. Oh, this is great. Yeah, dead bug, I have to tell you. I'm a little bit confused, so I really have to concentrate. But it's going to be on my back. Again, just think opposite arm. Oh, I'd like me to do that. Five more seconds. And stop. Okay. Now, the last of our biking. I put it there, of course, our biking exercise. It's going to be our dead bug. So, time to get on the ground here. Alright. We're going to turn my hat. Get the way so I can get down like a bug. Here we go. Alright. Standing with all the legs on the ground. Standing again. Kind of thing that was hard for a dog. Really think about what you want to do. And your goal is trying to hold your feet or your hands. I love running. I love triathlons. I really, really love running. And stop right at 50 second break. All right, now we're getting off our bike. We're transitioning into our run, the final part of our triathlon. Here we go. We start off with our with our triple run. Let me fix my hat a little bit. Remember, triple run for 45 seconds. Here we go. Oh, sorry. I start with my bike kicks. Oh, I was I was there to the starting line. Remember, bike kicks. Try to get your your heels to touch your butt. That keeps you going faster. And then we're gonna do hands up and then happy feet. Wait, is that what I did before? I think I changed the order. That's okay. Let's let's move. Let's go with this one. Happy feet, and then we're gonna go with our five more seconds with our high knees. There we go, high knees for the last 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go back to lunges. You know, in just five more seconds. And stop, awesome. So I'm gonna get myself ready. 45 seconds lunges. Will I use my uh, weights today? Yes, I'm gonna use my weights. I'm gonna try them by my side. Maybe I'll do lunge curls. 45 seconds. Here we go. That feels good. And then we end it with a triple lunge. Lunges. Remember, after our triathlon, we go right to the core 100. There we go. Awesome. Whoa, oh, almost lost my balance there. I hope you didn't follow that. There we go. 15 more seconds. I'm going to stretch all the way up. There we go. Stretch it all the way up if you want. Remember, you can always modify these to make them easier, make them trickier. You do you. That's what I love about you. All right, and stop. All right, now we're going to finish with our triple run. This time, I'm going to do the right triple run, which our triple run is going to be happy, sorry, butt kicks, high knees, happy feet. Here we go. All right, butt kicks. And they start. And then right into high knees. And then we're gonna do happy feet right to the finish line. Here we go. And happy feet. There we go. There we go. And then our triathlon's done. Then we have a 15 second break before we do our core 100. There we go. Oh, we have a little visitor there. Snuck right by. I love it. Three, two. One, and stop, all right. You did, you just did our second week of our mashup. We have one more week, the core 100. 10 reps, 10 exercises equals 100. We're gonna start with our crunches. We're gonna move down the list. Here we go. All right, remember, 10 crunches. I'm gonna look this way. 
Here we go. And just like Bob Hayes, he likes to put his hands on his side. Ten crunches. So I'm going to turn my hat the other way so it doesn't get in my way. Here we go. Let's count together. One. You go halfway up. Two. Three. Four. Hey, another visitor. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Awesome. And then we're going to move right into our leg extensions. I like to put my hands right underneath my bottom there. And leg extension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Then we're going to go right to our full sit ups. Here we go. I like to have my hands right on my back. And try to keep your bum on the ground. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. All right, now we're going to move right into opposites. And our opposites, remember, it says elbow to knee, and then we're going to do we go left, sorry, left elbow to right knee, and then we're, for 10, we're going to move right into our right elbow to our left knee. Here we go. Arches. We go on our belly, so, so the next two ones are going to be on our belly. It's the back arches and the and our push-ups. Here we go. Ten back arches. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go right into our push-ups. Here we go. Let me get nice and ready. A little stretch. Here we go. Ten push-ups. Marches left 30 to finish our whole mashup. Now for rowing sit ups. Okay, this is one of the trickiest ones. Here we go. Here we go for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. And then our alleys, one of your favorites. So you can go up like a sit up and then twist left, right. Here we go. Up. One, two, just like Bob Hayes. One time through, that's a super level. Two times through, that's a sonic level. And three times, that's beast mode, super sonic level. You did it. You know what? It's been so great coming with you with these workouts, hanging out with you. That's our final workout for the 2019, 2020 year. Hope you have a fantastic summer. And hey, if you miss me, you can still check me out on YouTube. I'll be there. You can go back to some of our earlier workouts. You can try this one again. It's up to you. Remember, throughout the summer, stay fit, stay healthy, but always remember, let's make fitness fun.